Plasticity, the CAD-like, also known as nerve-based modeling tool that is focused for artists and pretty much answers all of my problems that I have with Blender. It's still heavily in development, but my goodness, I didn't know I could want a program quite so badly. So grab yourself a cuppa and let's have a chat. My plan is to cover what exactly is plasticity, who is it for, and who can also take advantage of it, as well as the road ahead of it, because it's still an early beta and there's quite a bit of development still to go. Lastly, I'm gonna let you know my full thoughts and plans for it. So let's get straight into it and cover what on earth is plasticity. In a nutshell, Plasticity is a nerve-based modeling program, very similar to Moai 3D, as well as Fusion 360, FreeCAD, and even Rhino. Now, you might be wondering, so what makes it so special? It's because it's been created for artists. So it's removed a lot of the constraints that come with all those other programs that I've mentioned, such as actual constraints, unit-driven design, and a little bit of a less intuitive UI. But more importantly, Importantly is the whole idea that it is nerves based and why is that so important? Well, if you've ever heard of vectors, that's what pretty much a nerve is but in the 3D space. It means that it's a mathematically driven surface, which means you don't have mesh in the way. And what's the number one thing that gets in the way when we're dealing with mesh? Chamfers and bevels. Now you're able to chamfer and bevel like an absolute champ inside of plasticity. Truly, it's incredible what you can create in there. And Nick, the developer, has done an incredible job considering that this is still in beta. In fact, it's so usable that I want to show you how to use it. So what exactly is it? It is a nerve-based modeling tool that sort of opens up the realm of the precision side world of 3D into the more artistic side of the world of 3D. It's quite funny because it's pretty much where Maker Tales is perfectly positioned. I'm using Blender in a more precision way, and Nick has basically grabbed the aspects of precision and is gonna use them in a more artistic way. Which then begs the question, who exactly is this tool for? Well, from my own experience, having really pretty much learned the entire program, as well as from Nick's point of view, this is made for artists, hard surface modeler, game environment designers, people like that. So you CAD modelers right there, I understand you don't have a perfect program right now, but this is not the place for it. This is made for artists, but not all hope is lost because Nick is going to be putting this out under the LGPL license as much as possible, which means that he is, has the idea that there's gonna be add-ons for plasticity. So by all means, you'll be able to add your own constraints, your own units, your own sketch-driven design by the add-ons. But for now, this is completely for artists. Now, I'm gonna say that it is also for precision modelers. If you're a precision modeler using Blender, you understand how to deal with the units within your own head, your own mind space, and how to really get making with mesh. And this lovely tool just removes mesh out of the way. You still have full control of the units within your mind, but as long as you put it down into the nerves-based modeling and plasticity, you have it there too. Now there is a little caveat to that, that currently there aren't any real units, but luckily one unit in plasticity is the same as 10 centimeters. So the way that I like to model inside of plasticity is I just think that every single unit is one millimeter. And then when I export this out into Blender, I just divide it by 0 0.01 and there you have it. So now we get to a little bit of speculation, the road ahead. Now this comes from my own research. I've gone through every single one of Nick's videos, as well as a couple hundred of his comments and gone through his GitHub and all the rest. And this is what I've drawn out. It sounds like it's gonna go live on September of this year for $25. Right this minute is completely for free and the link is down in the description. And I'm gonna actually be making a couple of videos to go along with this whole idea of where it is right this minute. Now there is some things to keep in mind. I have a feeling that he's wanting to add some sort of modifier system in there, but that is still very much vague. He wants to add some sort of 
um, kit bashing element to this. And I think that is brilliant. I think kit bashing inside of plasticity is a brilliant idea indeed. And then there's a little bit of a, oh no, which is to do with this comment right here. Well, yeah, in a nutshell, it looks like it could go up to $150. Personally, I don't think this is the right angle to go out, even if it does bring extra functionality. The way I see plasticity is that it's very much an additional tool to go with the Blender workflow and not a standalone program. But this is completely in Nick's hands and of course the community yourself, which is to give him feedback. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have a feedback of plasticity that I'm gonna create a form which I'll share with Nick, and that's gonna be linked under this video as well, along with all the other videos that I'm about to make of plasticity, which then takes me on to the next topic, which is my own thoughts and where I'm gonna go from here. Well, my own thoughts is that, wow, I didn't realize that I wanted a program like plasticity so badly, and what I love the most about it is how intuitive it is once you understand the workflow, and the workflow is really easy indeed. It takes a little bit of relearning because it borrows some concept from precision modeling and it borrows some concept from mesh modeling, but then when you put them both together, it's actually a really fluid and easy way to create nerve-based models for artistic reasons as well as precision modeling. Like Nick likes to say, he is trying to bring clay feeling to the world of NURBS, and I think he's done a brilliant job there. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to do something that's probably not in the norm. I'm actually going to create a crash course series of plasticity completely for free here on YouTube in the next coming week. So it's going to be linked down in the description, or you're just going to have to wait a week and you'll see it right there. And it's going to be for the version of plasticity that is out right now. So you're going to have to take it all with a big pinch of salt in the sense that probably everything in that course will be completely obsolete come September, considering how much in beta this is. But I see such a great future for plasticity that I'm willing to back it myself. So with that all said, go and check it out. Go and sign up to get some nice notifications from me down in the description so I can let you know when videos are coming out and when I've created things about plasticity as well. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome and I cannot thank you enough for your support. It really makes Maker Tales possible. And a huge thank you to my VIP makers, which are Jem Oskinak and David Fernandez. A big thank you for you too. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. And don't forget that we have a Discord where I'm going to be adding a channel directly for Plasticity, and that is linked down in the description. Thank you for watching. Keep making. And let the quest continue.